Floyd Mayweather and Shakur Stevenson just hopped on FaceTime and had a chat that's going to leave guys like Gervonta Davis speechless. Floyd Mayweather finally broke his silence on Shakur versus Artem and the way the fight went down. What Floyd is not something you can afford to miss. So watch the video till the end. There's a lot to unpack with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the drama. Floyd Money Mayweather witnessed the action and saw something we all missed. Floyd saw the one thing that Shakur did which can end Gervonta Tank Davis. Floyd was catching the action live backstage, and he was ready to see Shakur go out and do his thing. Is Shakur fight yet? No. I'm fighting right now. Hey, yo, can we got Kevin on this? Family, yo! Stop it! Yes, <laughs> can Shakur Stevenson and Artem Harut Union put on one of the most boring shows this weekend at Prudential Center, New Jersey, in a pro boxing that shockingly lasted all 12 rounds. Yep, Shakur wasn't able to take Artem out of there attracting all sorts of criticism from most people. However, he delivered a masterclass piecing up Artem round by round and ending the night with an impressive unanimous decision victory over Artem. Your winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBC lightweight champion of the world, Shakur Stevenson! Now it was impressive, but it wasn't Shakur level impressive. It's been itching Shakur that he could not land a KO victory, but you gotta take into account that Artem was running away the whole fight. It's hard to hit someone who does not want to fight back. I know, I, I did everything I could to get him out of there too. Were you frustrated that you couldn't get him out of there? Yes, I was. <laughs> but I got, I got to cut off the ring a little bit more. Um, I send him one way, then he'll go the other way. So uh, I'm going to go back in the gym work on cutting off the ring. Having trained with Floyd for the past couple of months, Shakur's fight is facing a lot of criticism that he couldn't put on a jaw-dropping performance like Tank did with Frank Martin. Stevenson himself gave his performance a C+. The crowd wasn't feeling it, booing through the fight and some even dipped out by the 10th round. Harut Yunyan took some hard hits but started looking gassed in the later rounds. Still, he hung in there and landed some slick shots of his own. Even Ryan Garcia wasn't feeling the fight as he went on to express his thoughts on X. Ryan tweeted again, calling out Shakur's fight for being a snooze fest. He might not have put Artem to sleep, but he sure managed to knock out everyone watching with how boring it was. But hey, not everyone is as smart as Floyd Mayweather. There's a reason why Mayweather crowned Shakur the best fighter at 135. Yep, better than Gervonta Tank Davis. Floyd, who, when, we, when you think about the fighters who are fighting now, can you give me your, your one, two, three, four, and five when it comes to the, the lightweight, who you would put where? As of right now, the two guys, the biggest puncher, I feel, at, at the 135 would probably be Javante Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. But the most skillful fighter skillful fighter at 135 would be hands down Shakur Stevens. What is it about him? Because I know you have a lot of good um, attributes, but do you think he has enough power to sustain? Well, it's, all, it's really all about skills. Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher. But he was, I mean, very exciting, very tough, and he fought everybody. Shakur is trying to do the same thing. He want to fight the best they got out there. I believe his contract is coming to an end, so hopefully we can come together and I can take him to that next level. Just take a look at this clip from the fight. The way how Shakur is walking Artem down. None of Artem's punches are affecting Shakur like he's made of steel. Everyone who's ever stepped into the ring with Tank has been terrified of his power. But imagine if Shakur can take Tank's hits 
walk him down, and keep the pressure on. If he can do that, he can totally outbox Tank for all 12 rounds and clinch the win. It's all about turning the tables and showing who's really boss in the ring. Shakur's got the skills to pull it off. Right after his fight, Shakur didn't waste any time and called out both Tank and Loma. This bold move shows he's ready and willing to take on tougher challenges. Somebody watching that. Oh, no. happened? People walked out. I don't know about well, that. it's his last fight with top rank, so good riddance. But he just fought a guy that had only seven KOs. And like, what was it, 12 and one? What, what was it, his record? Nobody knows, come on guys, don't don't come at me. Come on, I've done my work. Two time, hold up. Two time linear world champion, we've done our job. Yeah. Do what uh, they give me, two million dollars. That's where his value is at. My value should be uh, on the opposite end, but hey, he got a great management team. They know how to move him. For me though, I'm getting a, uh, how can I say? I'm like a Burberry or Gucci or Italian clothing, you know? But they pay me great value, so. Shakur and Floyd already went over the game plan on how to beat Gervonta Davis on FaceTime. And in a recent interview, Shakur revealed he's back in the gym training with the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. News with you was um, you got in a little work with Floyd Mayweather. You, I, you know, you posted the pictures. Um, I saw your buddy Keyshawn Davis. He posted a little bit of footage. Um, I mean, I know you posted a little footage too, but not really the footage we wanted to see. You know, we we was hoping to see you on the mitts too. But um, how was that? Got, like, how I was it working? It, I got it in my phone. I got it in my phone, but oh, what's up, bro? Come on, man. We can, we can get a little sneak peek on fight <laughs> hype. Give us a little some, some. <laughs> yeah, I be I be holding out sometimes, but nah, it was amazing working with Floyd. Uh, you know, it, it was amazing to see his reflexes still sharp. Um, uh, I was testing his conditioning while we was on the mitts. I kept like trying to step to him and like work on the inside and just test his conditioning to see like where he at right now. But um, uh, nah, it was amazing. Oh, <laughs> uh, he he was teaching me a lot of stuff. That I ain't been taught before. That that well, I've been taught certain stuff, but like it's like he like reminded me. Like he reminded me of like old things of like stuff that when I was younger that I used to do. Mm. Mm. Shakur also had a message for all the haters who were talking down on his performance. Just take a look at what he tweeted on X. Somebody watching that. Oh, no. People walked out. I don't know about well, that. it's his it's last fight with top rank, so good riddance. But he just fought a guy that had only seven KOs. And like, what was it, 12 and one? What, what was it, his record? Nobody knows, come on guys, don't don't come at me. Come on, I've done my work. Two time, hold up. Two time linear world champion, we've done our job. Yeah. Do what uh, they give me, two million dollars. That's where his value is at. My value should be uh, on the opposite end, but hey, he got a great management team. They know how to move him. For me though, I'm getting a, uh, how can I say? I'm like a Burberry or Gucci or Italian clothing, you know? But they pay me great value, so. It's gonna be fun to watch Floyd and Shakur team up to take Tank down. We know it's been itching Floyd that Gervonta Davis got a bigger deal than him. Yep, that's right. So Floyd is out for revenge because his ego got hurt. I set you off that you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Oh. He said everything. So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, he, like. He, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. There's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Cause it's, I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? you? No, know, it just, it, Floyd don't never, he feel as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I, and I'm doing it at a young age, wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's, that's the, he has a part that's of the he, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing <laughs> it's it. exclusive, that's, that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Take no cap, nigga, that's a lot of bread. You'll see, it's okay. gonna come out. It's going to be fun to watch Shakur and Tank go head-to-head -head in a pro bout. But most of the pros are counting on Tank to take the W over Shakur after watching Shakur visas Artem. If Gervonta Davis can knock Frank Martin out, then Shakur should be able to do the same with Artem, but he didn't, putting Gervonta Davis at the top of the food chain. After watching Shakur take on Artem, Tim Bradley is convinced there's only one guy who can hand Shakur his first loss. 
Tank, Gervonta Davis has that one-punch knockout power that can put anyone to sleep. The only guy, the, the only guy that I think that can give support Russell's money is, is Tank. The only guy, man. You know, because his IQ is right there with him, and he got that power, that, that one-punch power to end the fight. If he catch fucking Shakur, bro, Shakur ain't never been hit. But if he catches him, bro, it could be it. Could be it. You know what I mean? Because you was one of the best finishers in the game. Yeah. So, That's a fight that got to happen. But, but, Shakur, but look, but Shakur, Shakur's going to make sure that don't happen, and that's the concentration that he has. He's going to have the concentration all night, and he's going to take limited chances. It's going to be a boring-ass fight, but Shakur should be able to pick it off. And if Tank starts to rush in and start you know, get ahead of himself, Shakur's going to pick him up. But, again, Tank... They got that timing. He got every punch in the arsenal, bro. I mean, it's going to be a difficult fight for Shakur, but I still think Shakur can hit him. But I I don't care. His performance was a performance tonight. It is what it is. He did what he had to do against this dude. You know what I'm saying? Made him look like a... One of the fans commented on the fight, saying, Congrats on the win, but you're not aggressive, bro. You haven't tested yourself yet. You keep fighting fighters with no big names. If Shakur wants to prove his worth, he's got to beat Tank, and partnering up with Floyd is exactly what he needs going into this mega fight. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.